Hi, and welcome to another tech tip video on ANSYS Mechanical. For this video, I'm going to show you how to use the object generator to automate some processes for us. Processes like uh, creating joints and creating the uh, same loads on members that are repeated. Let me explain a little bit more. So, you see this 3D geometry. I have a set of five bolt assemblies and I want to apply a bolt pretension in all these. I made a previous video on doing it on solid bodies. I'm going to make another video, this one, on how to do it on line bodies. Uh, it can be quite tedious for us to have to set a joint for every single one of these. What if you have an assembly with about 200 pieces of hardware on there? There's a way for us to automate this process. Let's get to it. I'm going to go over two different ways. The first way is going to be in space claim. And the second is going to be in ANSYS Mechanical itself. So let me hide the bodies that we're not focusing on today. And here's our main assembly. Let me hide all these bodies over here using the selection capabilities of space claim. I really like this ability. Okay, so the first step is we're going to want to create a name selection for all the different surfaces that we have to use for our joints. To create a joint, we traditionally select the top of this vertex and this surface and we apply joint in ANSYS Mechanical. To use the object generator we're going to have to create some name selections or groups rather. It's called name selections in ANSYS Mechanical. So let's select all these vertexes from these line bodies. Oh, I'm missing one. All right, let's just go back to that selection again, the selection ability, so we can just select all, have it auto select all the profiles for us. Oops. Others. All right. So I'm going to create a name selection for these top vertexes. And I'm going to create a name selection for these bottom ones. And I'm going to create one for the bolt itself. Let's show all. Let's hide all suppressed. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and just select all these top surfaces. Create a name selection for all the bolts, I mean the washers. And I'm going to do the same. You know what? I'm going to show you how to use that selection capability again in, Ans in Space Claim. others and then we can the problem is it's going to look for all surfaces of the same area so it's going to select the top two so that's not very helpful for us see that we just want to select the bottom ones so I'm just going to use the traditional method of selecting go back to the groups and create bottom washers all right, so I've created all my name selections inside Space Claim. I'm going to import those into Ansys Mechanical.
So that's the first method. You can also create name selections inside Ansys Mechanical. I'm going to show you how. If I select these top vertexes, I'm going to right click and create a name selection. And it says mechanical top bolt. If I filter out and hide the other bodies, I can start by selecting one surface, creating a name selection, and I can use a similar feature like the selection uh, feature in Space Claim, where I can try to find surfaces of the same size. Once again, it's going to select all the surfaces present with the same area. That doesn't help me too much because I'm just trying to select the top surfaces, so we're going to have to do this manually. All right, so that's how you create name selections inside Ansys Mechanical. It's quite simple. Now, I want to insert a joint because I want to start connecting my bolts to these washers. So this is step three now setting up the bolt pretension so I can automate this process. Awesome. Let's do the same on the bottom. Let's insert a joint. Let's use a smart selection in Ansys. Makes it a little easier. You know, with this smart selection, it's going to try to guess what you want to select. That way, you don't have to keep filtering back and forth between uh, vertexes, edges faces and full bodies. All right. So can you imagine having to do this for every single one of these uh, bolt assemblies? Luckily, we can use the object generator. You know what? I'm going to try to do both at the same time. Let me see if it lets me do it. I know I could do one at a time, but let's see if we can. No, that's not a good idea. All right, I'm just going to do one at a time. And for the reference, I'm going to use the top vertexes. So it's the top of the bolts. For the bottom, I'm going to use the top of the washers that we created. And when I click Generate, and we've automated the process. I'm going to do the same for the bottom now. Make sure when you have the Object Generator open, you select the feature that you're trying to copy over, or duplicate or automate. Bottom of the bolt, bottom washer, Generate. Awesome. I'm going to start a bolt pretension. We can use our 
see we can use we can select the bolt itself we're going to apply 10,000 bounds for our clamp load and we're going to automate this process we're going to select all the bolts and you know there's a setting here ignore the original yeah you don't want to duplicate that so just make sure you have that checked so when I click generate now it has set the bolt pretensions on all of the line bodies so there you go that's using the object generator with line bodies very similar process to doing it with solid bodies